Welcome to the HCMC training video on the use of ultrasound in the diagnosis of rib fracture. Until now, the diagnosis of rib fracture was made incidentally on chest x-ray by exclusion or clinical exam. By using the ultrasound to confirm the diagnosis, one can be more confident in the diagnosis of rib fracture and therefore more assured that there is not a more serious underlying cardiac or pulmonary pathology. The first step is to localize the area of maximal tenderness so as to focus your ultrasound exam. Using a high-frequency linear array ultrasound transducer, start with a probe transverse to the length of the rib to obtain a cross-sectional view. Starting several inches away from the area of maximum tenderness, one can see how easy it is to trace the course of the rib. This is a view of a normal section of rib with an uninterrupted cortex around the entire bone. When an area with a fracture is encountered, the cortex will appear disrupted with an overlying hematoma as seen in this case. When viewed side by side on the same screen, it is easy to see the difference between the normal rib on the left and the broken rib on the right. By turning the probe 90 degrees, a longitudinal view of the rib can be obtained, confirming the fracture, which in this case is a displaced portion of the proximal cortex. Slight pressure with the probe will palpate the precise area of the visualized fracture, further confirming that point as the area of maximal tenderness. This is a chest x-ray from the same patient just before the ultrasound was performed. Even on close inspection, there is no evidence of the rib fracture. With a little bit of practice, the ribs can be followed quite quickly with the area of fracture jumping out and appearing obviously different from the normally smooth cortex of normal rib. So remember, trace the rib through the area of maximal tenderness using a transverse view until a change in the cortex or overlying hematoma is identified. Then rotate the probe 90 degrees to obtain a longitudinal view of the rib and confirm the diagnosis. You may have to scan through several different ribs to find the exact rib with the fracture. Of course, even a diagnosed rib fracture does not completely exclude cardiac, pulmonary, and even abdominal pathology, but visualization of the fracture can make you more confident that you have isolated the source of the patient's pain.